Hi fellow humans, this is Rusty78609. I live in a 16 foot travel trailer and I have a 2018 Coachman Clipper Cadet 16 CFB. It's still under warranty and the uh, warranty people at Viking, whoever they are, said they would reimburse me the cost of replacing my air conditioner and I'll show you what I've done. I've gone out and bought a room air conditioner, electronic controls with remote. It's an Arctic King 6000 BTU at Walmart. It was $179, I think. Cools up to approximately 250 square feet, which is about 75% uh, more space than I have. But anyway, that's the box, okay? Now, we'll go inside. Well, I'll show you the outside first. Now, just remember, this is a work in progress, and I live in this lovely, expensive 2018 Clipper coachman coachman clipper cadet okay 16 cfb and i live out here in the country in central texas and today it'll probably be in the oh mid 90s humidity probably 40 percent or about that and anyway so anyway i'm out here in the middle of nowhere and when it gets hot it gets hot 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 and this is june okay this is not the hottest time of the year july and august are hottest, but that has nothing to do with the air conditioner i'm going to show you how i've got this put in because i put it in so that I'm setting this up so that I can take it out easily. Ha, ha, ha. You know what that means, don't you? Well, I'm setting it up so that it's not a permanent install. You know, I'm not going to use any of that large crack seal or crack sealer and stuff that you can never get off. Yeah, you're going to love this. Does this look temporary? <laughs> this is my work setup. I got my little table there, my Black & Decker electric drill. I got a little stool over here with my pencil and so I can measure stuff. And those uh, rods right there that are holding the air conditioner up, those are basically, those are shower rods that I had when I was camping in my pickup, uh, my uh, White House, so to speak, <clears throat> right there. I went camping in that for a few months. Yeah, I got a bed in there and all that. But anyway, so you can see how these shower rods extend perfectly and hold up the air conditioner. Is that a permanent solution? <laughs> you got to know it ain't, boy. You got to know it ain't. Why did it cut off? I don't know. I think I've got it on auto, so when it reaches a certain temperature, it cuts off. But anyway, uh, that's it, and you know that's the thing that's pretty much holding it there. And I got another piece of plywood on the side. But anyway, I've got it to the point that I can. Uh, you see these little insects right here, the ones with the little pointed heads. If you ever see them, kill them. Why? Because they'll bite the crap out of you. Okay. But anyway, so that one's gone. That one's one less in the whole universe. Yeah. And this thing, what I'll do is I'll let this down right now like that okay and then in a little bit i'll come and tape this so that it doesn't swing around and make noise and all that stuff so anyway i've got it pretty well in okay and again that's just there's one screw on that board on each side and i can just take it right out in the air conditioner but you put the air conditioner in from the inside out not the outside in okay guys that's step one always remember that yeah, if, yeah, it goes from the inside out. Now I'll go ahead and show you this work of art on the inside. But again, this is set up so that I can remove it and go camping in my RV. So now I'll go show you what kind of damage I did on the inside. Well, when you see all this luxury, you guys are going to be up just shot. Why do I have tinfoil on that window? Because it reduces the heat load on the inside, and it's just tinfoil, just regular old aluminum foil. I take it off in the winter. And inside here, you see all this luxury. I painted those doors that pleasant color. But anyway, that doesn't have anything to do with the air conditioner, so we'll go over here. Now you can see, I wonder why it cut off. Is it on auto? No. I don't know why it cut off. Don't tell me it's already broke. Oh, it's energy saver. Okay, well, I don't want that. Well, I'll figure that out in a minute. Let me do finish the video. But anyway, so I've got this super wide insulation here, you can see. And I'll cut that off and put it in there and probably put some across here. But anyway, it's just going to be a quote, temporary setup. Yeah, you know, this is the head of the bed. I wish I could get the thing to come on so you'd see how quiet it is. But I, yeah, this thing, the, the remote that came with it, is not the remote in the instructions okay the remote in the instructions is totally different there's nothing that shows you how to operate this thing okay so let me see if i can punch something here and get it going uh nope i want to do that okay i want to go to low fan uh timer 
sleep energy saver oh here we go okay whatever that is i punched energy saver and it cut back on again but yeah that's on low speed pretty quiet huh it's really pretty quiet I'm impressed because I ran it through all the speeds and on low it's very quiet and I'm hoping that I can cool the whole RV uh, this is a 6,000 BTU uh, unit and uh, should work because it says 150 to 250 square feet or something like that and this is the Danby the one that came with the RV it's a 5,000 BT unit manual 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 and uh, right now when it gets about 95 well, in fact, the compressor never cuts off all day long, okay? Uh, it, it just runs, runs, runs. And then at night, it freezes you, but of course, you can always turn it down at night, which is not a problem. But what I want to do is, because this thing is making some squeak, 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 squeaking noises, you know what I mean? And some other strange stuff, and I know what's fixing to happen. It's fixing to go out on, when it's 117 degrees outside, you know what I mean? Everything always, and at, at midnight, okay? You know, the worst possible time. But anyway, we got her going here. Uh, the compressor's on now. I just heard it click on, and uh, so anyway, knock on wood, this is going to work out. Yeah, I got some sealing to do there. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll work all that out. But you know, once I get it in the window and get it uh, pretty well squared away, then you know, it's the finishing it off is not that difficult. In fact, it's kind of fun. But anyway, having said that, I just want to give you a heads up: installing uh, an air conditioner in an RV. Now, this is the emergency exit window in my RV and that window works the best okay uh, because that window opens all the way out and you take the screen off and you got that hole open in there it's like 27 by 19 or 17 yeah 27 by 17 i think is correct and uh, yeah it's, it's plenty of room for about anything you want to put in there but yeah it's, it's cooling right now feels good so we'll see how this works anyway enjoy your life but uh, yeah in texas you got to have an ac guys but anyway thumbs up carpet damn ideals bye 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 anything your little heart desires uh, but if you think about it, you use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why? Because I get a little commission and it doesn't cost you one penny. Okay? What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to snack. What else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in deep. Hold it for a few seconds. Breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. You got to know it is. And what else? Stretch, 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 walk, walk, walk. I did my stretches. I haven't done my walking yet, but this right here has been, this has been a job, okay? That, it was enough. And what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside your head. You know what I mean? Leave yourself with positive thoughts and everything will work out good. Otherwise, you'll be miserable, miserable, miserable. Anyway, enjoy your life. That is how you install an air conditioner in an RV emergency w exit window easily and then it can be removed in fact it, it may fall out on the ground as we speak <laughs> anyway adios guys bye bye